Welcome back to Arise Entertainment 360. Now you'll recognize our next guest from movies like Coach Carter, Old School, and Roll Bounce. Now audiences have been really excited about his new character, Wild Dog, on the CW's hit superhero show, Arrow. Now Rick Gonzalez, welcome to Thank Arise 360. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. How Thank you for are you? Me. Very well. Thank you for having me. My goodness, you have got to tell us what is it like playing a superhero. It's every person's dream. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Um, as a kid, um, you know, it's a dream come true because I collected comic books. This was like, you know, um, and never in my wildest dreams that I think I would actually play a character from the DC universe. Yeah. So um, I was always a fan of Wolverine and the mm. Punisher. So to play Wild Dog is actually awesome because he's very similar in his uh, temperament. And uh, to play the anti-hero who actually does a good thing uh, it's pretty fun. It's it's complex, but at the same time, a whole lot of fun. So for those people who don't know what superpower you have, can you yeah. describe to us? What is that power? What do you do? Um, his superpower is uh, a lot of attitude. Um, oh, <laughs> right. You got so that, too. I basically have a superpower. Yes, you do. Fantastic. Yes, you do. Yes, and they said I wasn't good for anything. <laughs> uh, but no, I mean, he's um, he's military trained. Uh, but he's but he does get trained by the Green Arrow to be a vigilante and be a part of his team, and um, you know his specialty is weaponry and 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 at the same time brings grit and strength to the team, and uh, but also a, a, a good friend. So um, it's a lot of fun. Wow, yeah. it sounds exciting and it looks even better on screen. Yes. Wow. Yes, 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 yeah. yes, yes. Now you have to tell me because I am a comic book aficionado, so oh. I know these comics mm. inside out. Hmm. And in this comic, in the DC comics, your character is not Hispanic. No, no. But you are. So yes. How, does that, how did that change the portrayal of the character for you? I, I tip my hat to DC um, and CW and WB for coming together and taking a character whose originally was Jack Wheeler and changing him to Rene Ramirez. And I think, um, I think it was a great idea because mm -hmm. I think it reflects um, what our world looks like, you know. And I think. Um, um, they just wanted to be inclusive with the idea of creating yeah. characters that, you know, other people can identify with, yeah. you know, and I think they've established a lot of content on Arrow, but I think they also wanted to reflect what the world looked like, and my character kind of reflects the inner city, you know, the, the, the places that are kind of ignored, mm -hmm. you know, and I think they wanted to bring that to Arrow, you know, the star city, and I think with Rene Ramirez, they can I, kind of open that door up and right. just show that. So. I'm excited, you know, and there's a lot of young people who love the show and watch it and are, you know, excited to see a character that looks just like them and has the same energy and talks like them that can be represented on the show. So on the I show, the Hispanic character, where is he Hispanic from? Like, where, <laughs> where, just out of curiosity, because there's so much diversity. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. I, 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 to me, he's, he's just like me, Puerto Rican and Dominican. Nice. You know, from, from the inner city of Star City, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, you know, and, um, you know, that, that to me is like, if I can represent something close to self yeah. that can connect with other people that are just like me, then you know that's a that's a great thing. And tell me in terms of backlash that you might have faced because we saw it with John Boyega when he was uh, when he portrayed the first black stormtrooper. Mm -hmm. We saw it when they s were about to cast Idris Elba as the first black James yes. Bond. Yes, which can still happen. <laughs> which can still happen. Shout to Idris. So being a Hispanic superhero mm -hmm. who was originally Caucasian, yes. have you received any backlash? No, no, it's been nothing but you know just great. Um, you know, just with great welcome, and and you know they've welcomed me with open arms, the fans of the show, and I appreciated that because um, I think you know in terms of like the Marvel and the DC universe, the fans have been you know open to the idea of them allowing to uh, change certain characters yeah. and change their ethnicity, and you know, and and I think for the purposes of of, of trying to be more inclusive and and make the world more you know, parallel to what we live in, I think that helped and I think the fans were okay with that, you know. But I think in terms of certain characters, it was more important to be um, open to it and certain characters still needed to be um, true the to the comic book, paper. you know. And yeah. I think with, with, with Jack Wheeler, it was okay to say, no, I think this character can represent, you know, a Latino. Uh, you know? So what's in store? Uh, for your character, for Waldo, yeah. what's in store? What's well, next? Well, Can't tell us what happens on the show. <laughs> I'm just saying, I want to know. That's my superpower, curiosity. So. <laughs> well, here's the thing. We're right now. Our our season six is uh, our theme is family, and right now we're in the middle of something brewing um, that's similar to a civil war. Oh, and wow. so uh, there's a new team that's split off from from Team Arrow. 
and it's kind of like the new Team Arrow against the original Team Arrow. Oh, and wow. uh, so there's going to be like this kind of conflict that's happening, a physical conflict that will, um, I, I believe that people like are going to get excited for. Interesting. So yeah. You know they say art imitates life or sometimes vice versa. Do you mm. think that the writers wrote it that way because of what's currently going on in the political climate? Um, well, I think that the writers are very conscious of what's happening in the world today and I think um, creatively they want to be able to parallel certain things but at the same time give the viewers an escapist yeah. land you know give them a view of something that they can escape to but it's impossible to not be um, influenced by what's going on and I think um, creatively it just you know kind of lends itself and gives another layer to the show yeah. so you kind of have to do that in a way as a writer so yeah there are things that kind of mirror what's happening but yeah. at the end of the day we try to be true to the comic book and give people a reason to escape. It's I so exciting that. to see someone like you play a role like this. And I'm thinking, might this be the beginning? Might you get your own movie where this character Ooh. is featured? We, you know, we saw the success of Black Panther. Yeah. Could uh, it be next for you? Yeah, why not? I mean, I, I think. I uh, like that answer. Why not? Why not? <laughs> you know, why, why not? I mean, I think, you know, to see uh, a full length feature with a Latino uh, superhero would be, would be awesome. Yeah. It'd be great. And I think we're ready for it. Oh, mm. okay. So on the subject of movies that have dominated the box office, mm. you have been in a host of other movies that we've mentioned before. Yeah. What was your favorite character to play, and why? Mm. I have to say, I um, I'd have to say that I played a character named Ben on a show called Reaper okay. for CW, and I I, I want to say Ben because um, I learned a lot as an actor on that show. You know, I. Um, just tackling comedy and, and the type of comedy that that was. It was a big learning experience and I was thrust into a world where I had to um, learn things about myself and to push myself as an actor. Yeah. And those are the moments where I, you kind of look back and say, that's when you're forced to kind of like find your creativity yeah. is when the good stuff happens. A teachable moment in mm -hmm. your acting career. Absolutely. Mm. So I understand you worked with Snoop Dogg too. What was that like? <laughs> of course oh, you want to know about Snoop saying. Dogg. What are the sort of... Uh, that was great. I mean, um, I, didn't, I didn't get to... Ask the real question. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I, I didn't smoke with Snoop Dogg. <laughs> that was what he was going to ask. I, I didn't smoke, and that's a bucket list moment that I wish I did. Oh, no. You know? How could you? I know, I know, but <laughs> but n n none of this, uh, well, at the end of the day, I did get to, to meet him and, and to, to, to see him work, and just a, just an awesome guy to be around. Yeah. It's great. 15th year anniversary of uh, old school. Oh. Very so exciting. So it's, it's, you know, 15 years, the life, you know, time goes by so fast. Yeah. Yeah. Now oh. you also, little known secret, used mm. to be very, very involved in the music scene. Used to be. Used to be. Used to be, Active yes. Active words in that sentence. Mm -hmm. Used to Why be. did you decide to leave and are there any plans to go back? Uh, no plans to go back. I think I just, few, I want to say now it's like going on three years. I think uh, I realized my purpose was always acting. Right. And I just, I just knew it, you know, and um, not that I don't love music and I, you know, and who knows you know, how life works. I might end up doing stuff for fun, but at the end of the day, it's, I'm an actor. And, so uh, wow. what kind of projects did you have in the music scene? If we were sort of Google, put, pull it up, what well, are we talking I, about? I, I was able to work with really cool people like um, Talib Kweli and, oh, wow. and people like Prodigy from Mob Deep, may he rest in peace, and just really cool people like that that I looked up to and admired in the music scene. And, um, you know, that I can honestly say, yeah, I, I, I worked with them and I did music yeah. with them. and. Well, I'll always have that. So it sounds mm. like you were quite into conscious rap then. A little bit, yeah. I was def definitely a hip hop head, you know, growing up listening to Most Def and mm. Nas and Jay Z. Okay, look at that. I'm mm. just saying, mm. uh, I'm getting flashbacks. <laughs> you're, you're a Brooklyn boy, just uh, like yeah. I am. Yeah, I think we were born in the same hospital, maybe. Oh, Which yeah. hospital? Wow, yeah, okay. Yeah, well, yeah, it was, you're from Wyckoff. You, yeah, you're yeah. from Bushwick, yeah, too. Yeah, from so, Bushwick. From so, Bushwick. So, yeah. I'm from uh, England. Boring. Okay. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> so tell us what is coming up next for you in 2018. Uh, well, hopefully we'll be uh, shooting our seventh season of Arrow, mm -hmm. and I'm um, looking forward to that. I mean, we shoot 23 episodes out the year, so it, my entire year is just filled up with playing Wild Dog. So hopefully that that's the that's the plan. Oh wow! And no side projects, anything like that that we can look out for as well. Nothing I can speak on right now. Oh. oh. Oh, but we love something. an exclusive, so give us a hint. Uh, it could be a personal project. 
Very we'll take nice. that. We'll accept it. Yeah, very <laughs> nice. So very tell nice. us, where can we catch your show? What time? How do we watch yes, it? Yes, CW Thursday, Thursday nights on CW at 9 p.m. Check us out. Amazing yes. stuff. We cannot wait to see you on yes. screen. Thank you. Thank you for joining us, Thank Ray. you for having me. <laughs> Congratulations on all your success. Thank you very much. I appreciate okay. it. We have a lot more still to come on Horizon Entertainment 360. Stick around. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank you.